Alrighty, so today we're going to talk about water retention. That's what we did our science experiment over today. Um, just a couple of things um, that you need to know. So this journal entry is going to be short and sweet. So what we know is that water retained and retain and retention come from the same word. Okay, Retention is just the noun and retain is the verb. Water retained equals... Um, water put in minus water dripped out. That's your important formula, okay? That's how you figure out how much water certain kinds of soil retain, just like we did in the lab today. You know, in the lab we put in <clears throat> 100 milliliters into all those soil samples in the... Uh, we measured how much dripped out, and then we subtracted to find out how much um, <clears throat> each soil actually retained. And what does retain mean again? It means to suck in or hold in. So the water retained is the water that's still held inside the soil. Okay? So that's how we find out how much water a soil retains. Um, let's go ahead and draw a little example that we can see. So if I have a beaker... Okay, just like this. Okay, and I have, if I have 100 milliliters, okay, just like that. Can you see that? Uh, uh, let's try. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, good enough. Um, so let's say we have 100 milliliters of water in this beaker. And we are going to pour that 100 milliliters of water into a um, similar setup like we had going on in the lab. So we had a graduated cylinder, just like that, just like that. Then we had that funnel sitting in there, right? We had the funnel just like this, right? And then we had the coffee filter coming out of the funnel. Um, and we had soil inside. So I'm going to label this soil inside. Soil. I know it's really hard to see, but it says soil inside that little funnel. So let's say, drip, 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 water's coming out, right? We poured all that 100 milliliters inside, and now this water is all dripping out, and it drips out to be, here's our little tick marks, 40 milliliters drips out right there. 40 milliliters drips out. And so it comes to right here. Did all of the 100 milliliters that I put in, did all of that come out of the soil? No, it didn't. Only 40 milliliters came out. Well, how do I find out how much water is still inside the soil? How much the soil retained? How much the soil held in? Well, I'm going to do our formula. So come down like this. And we're going to say that the water retained equals water put in. How much water did I put in? 100 milliliters minus how much water dripped out, 40 milliliters equals, equals what? What's 100 minus 40? 60 milliliters is my water that is retained still inside the soil, okay? This is my water retained. Water retained. That's so important that you understand that formula. You're probably going to see that like on CDAs, on six weeks test. So remember that this is the water we put in. Water put in. This is the water dripped out. Right? And I, that equaled the water retained. Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching. Watch that other YouTube video so you can refresh yourself on that experiment. Alright. See you tomorrow.